hi everyone from this video we are going to learn about the remaining various types of life insurance plans and the documents required for purchasing the life insurance and the various documents required for life insurance claims and settlements we have discussed about some of the types of life insurance plans previously like term plans whole life insurance money back and endowment plans and the remaining savings and investment insurance plans retirement plans child insurance plans and the ulips called as unit linked and investment plans or insurance plans explained in this video the first one is savings and investment insurance plans in savings and investment insurance plans savings and investment insurance plans are types of insurance plans that provide you the assurance of lump sum funds for you and your family expenses while providing an excellent savings tool for the short term and long term financial goals these plans also ensure your family a certain sum by way of an insurance cover because savings plan or savings and investment plans are financial products that provide the opportunity to create wealth for future every individual has dreams and goals that are beyond their necessities to fulfill these savings and investment plans help you to save your income in a systematic manner to fulfill those goals and coming to the features or benefits of savings and investment insurance plans are as below the first one is wealth creation investment plans with life insurance are sure shot way to accumulate wealth or a for a period in future when you would require funds for children's education children's marriage or retirement pension etc life insurance investment plans will be financially aid you and the next one is financial protection insurance policy provides life with investment options in savings and investment insurance plans which takes care of family financially as both survival and death benefits are provided at maturity policy holders receive the returns with profits in the pro pocket if the policy holders dies before maturity period the insurance company will pay the nominee the sum assured and the next one is risk coverage not all investments offer death risk coverage options investment plans will provide the death risk also the sum assured is paid to the nominee in the event of death of the policy holder and the next benefit is retirement savings one can buy these investment plans at any time of life life stage this allows you to create the corpus for retirement in this way even after retirement the investor will be financially independent and the other benefit is flexibility flexibility of investment and the flexibility in the duration of selecting these investment plans help or benefit the policy holder to opt or select the savings and investment insurance plans according to his needs and plans and the next one is tax saves or saves tax as we discussed all the insurance products are exempted from the tax these investments savings and investment insurance plans also is exempted from the in indian income tax act 1961 under section 80c and it acts as also loan facilitator life insurance investment plans also act as a loan facilitator but it depends on the coverage of one has taken premiums paid eligibility for the loan amount etc and the next one is retirement insurance plans retirement insurance plans helps to build corpus for your retirement this is helping you to live independently or financially without any worries in case of any uncertain event life issued passes away during the policy term immediate payment is payable to the nominee 
these retirement plans provide annual installments or one time payout after the age of 60 years death benefit will be higher of coverage or fund value to the premiums paid and coming to the benefits of retirement insurance plans here the features of the benefits are first one is the first benefit is coverage scope and terms the nature of retirement benefit and the annuity payouts is generally either immediate or deferred in the immediate mode the regular payments begin soon after plan is purchased on the other hand deferred annuity works in the mechanism of initial accumulation for a fixed number of years and then the subscriber or the policy holder become eligible for the benefits so the coverage scope of the policy must be favorable for your needs and the second benefit is the duration of the fund build up here the feature includes the number of years for which the policy allows you to build up the corpus that means regular payments in the form of pension can be made after retirement the next one is the duration of the pension period this is very basic feature and it denotes the time period after retirement when the subscriber will be entitled to receive monthly payments or the monthly pensions and the next one is the main fund coverage this is also known as sum assured and indicates the total coverage for which the subscriber is entitled before deciding on the pension plan always make sure to check that the sum assured must offer you and your dependent spouse the guaranteed coverage after retirement the next benefit is option of partial withdrawal this is a beneficial feature the plan must not have rigid of inflexible terms of withdrawal during the period of fund build up it means there should be a feature that can allow you to withdraw a financial part or the fund particular percentage of the corpus in the event of emergency or requirement and the next benefit is the minimum assured amount it is a very crucial feature that entitles you to aware of the amount that the insurance will provide as annuity benefit after the term period is over and the next benefit is flexibility of investment option the annuity invest instrument that the plan provides must ideally offer you the choice of fund option especially so if the returns are market linked and the next one is tax benefits the pension plan that you wish to purchase must be income tax efficient and must allow you to mention tax benefits on the tax exemption as the as per the sections of income tax act the next one is the market value of the plan this indicates the surrender value of the plan that is if you wish to surrender the plan before term maturity the last one is additional benefits the plan must ideally offer additional benefits for riders for coverage of old age related expenses like medical medical bills doctor visits etc you must choose carefully before opting for a rider as it impact the payable premiums there are various types of retirement insurance plans namely deferred annuity immediate annuity with cover and without cover pensions plan annuity certain guaranteed period annuity life annuity and national pension scheme here the first type of retirement insurance plan is deferred annuity here a deferred pension scheme allows you to accumulate a corpus through regular premiums after the completion of the policy tenure the pension is provided to the insured the deferred pension scheme offers various different benefits to the insured person in a deferred pension plan only one third of the corpus is tax free on withdrawal two third of corpus is taxable and next is immediate annuity 
under an immediate annuity scheme the pension is provided immediately the policy holder can take the or has to pay the lump sum amount and pension will be provided instantly to the policy holder by the insurance company based on the lump sum amount paid by the policy holder under the immediate annuity pension scheme the insured can choose from the range of annuity options in an immediate annuity retirement plan the nominee of the policy is entitled to receive the money in case of demise of the insured person that means death and during the tenure of the policy the next type of retirement insurance plans is with cover and without cover pension plans here with cover components is the life cover with cover pension plans have the benefit of life insurance coverage also not a, not only the pensions after the retirement a lump sum amount is paid to the beneficiary or the policy holder along with the life coverage in with cover pension plans and under without cover pension plans no life cover is offered to the insured person in case of uncertainty death of the insured person the nominee will not get any corpus under the without cover pension plans that means it will not cover any life risk cover and the next one is annuity certain under this pension plan option the annuity is paid to the policy holder for a specific number of years this policy can holder can choose the period and if they pass away before receiving the complete payment the annuity will be paid to the beneficiary and that is nominee of the policy hold and the next one is guaranteed period annuity under guaranteed period annuity the payouts or the pensions is paid to the policy holder for certain period like 5 years 10 years 15 years or 20 years whether or not the insured survives the duration next one is life annuity under the life annuity plan the pension amount will be paid to the policy holder until death after to choosing the option of which the spouse with the spouse the amount of pension will be given to the spouse of the policy holder in case of the death of the policy holder and the last one is national pension scheme nps it was introduced by the government of india in order to secure the financial future individual after retirement as per the preference of the individual the money invested in the national pension scheme is put in equity and death funds in order to generate returns on investment the policy holder can withdraw 60% of the amount at the retirement and rest 40 of the amount is used to purchase the annuity the maturity proceeds are not tax free they are taxable in nps and the next type of insurance plan is unit linked insurance plan or investment plans ulips are a type of life insurance plan that provides you with a dual advantage of protection and flexibility in investment it is a type of life insurance where the cash value of the policy varies according to the current market investments values the premium paid is used to purchase units in investment chosen by the policy holder ulip is a unique investment vehicle that combines the benefits of an insurance policy with market linked investment and there are various benefits of unit linked insurance plans and they are discussed as below it is it should be and it has an advantage of flexibility ulips offer a high level of flexibility value when it comes to choosing fund options change in life cover and option of riders give you the freedom to decide 
where you would like to invest your money and makes it easy for a policy holder to switch from one investment variant to the other according to the market conditions next one is goal based savings ulips are designed to long term financial goals such as buying a house funding your children's education etc as it helps you in building a large corpus in disciplined manner moreover when you invest for a long term it is possible to absorb the market risk as well as your money grows faster over a long term so it is a gold based savings and the next one is liquidity in case of emergencies ulips allow you to partially withdraw money from your unit linked account but only after a period of 5 years from the commencement date of the policy and the best part of this liquidity in the unit linked ulips is the withdrawals is that they provide tax benefits that means even with the we are withdrawing the money from the ulips they are exempted from the tax and the next one is tax benefits ulips offer not o- only provide life cover along with great returns but also provides you with dual tax benefits for premium paid ulips are exempted up to 150000 under section section 80c additionally all payouts that means maturity value received at the time of maturity are exempted as well as under section 10 of income tax act 1961 and the next type of life insurance plan is child insurance policy here children insurance policy is a savings come investment plan that is designed to meet your children's future financial needs it allows your kids to live their dreams and gives you the advantage to start investing in the children's plan right from the time of the child birth and provisions to withdraw the savings once the child reaches adulthood some child insurance policies do allow immediate withdrawal at certain intervals and the features and benefits of the child insurance policies are protection which is an important the most benefit of buying a child policy plan or the child insurance plan is to protect your children in case of any unfortunate event a good insurance policy covering your children's financial needs can take care of their welfare in case of your absence also and the next one is maturity benefit children's plans are designed in such a case or manner that your children is protected financially at every important stage of his life most often the maturity of child plans is around a specific st- stage of children's life most child insurance plans will offer a maturity period which is related to your children's age that is when they turn 18 21 21 years of age and the next one is partial withdrawal facility a child insurance policy not only offers protection but also acts like a savings fund for your children on maturity the lump sum amount received can be used to meet various goals related to the children like education marriage etc many child insurance plans today allowed you to withdraw funds from your policy partially so that any urgent requirement can be met the next one is surrender benefit and guaranteed bonus in addition to the above mentioned you can also look out for additional benefits like surrender benefit guaranteed benefit etc you can complement your children's basic insurance plan with riders options like an income benefit waiver of premium at the time of personal accident or critical illness these are the various 
types of life insurances and the benefits or features of various life insurances and the contents of documents it these are related to the documents which are needed to the purchasing or settlement of the claims of these life insurances here contents of the documents means the life insurance policy offers financial security to individuals and families in case of any unfortunate events like death and disability of the insured it is suggested that individuals should have life insurance policies which offers high claim settlement ratio documentation life insurance documentation can be classified into three categories that are death claims maturity claims and rider claims life insurance claim benefits are entertained by the nominee in case of any untimely death of the life assured and here along with the contents of the documents the necessary documents for buying the or purchasing the life insurance policy in india is there may be different documents required for different types of life insurance plans here buying insurance plans has become quite simple due to availability of the online platform which allows you to buy a policy from your home or office whenever you buy a policy whether online or through insurance agents you are required to submit a set of documents to the insurance company and an insurance policy is a legal contract and to establish the legality of the contract insurance documents are needed after the insurance company verifying the submitted documents the insurance policy is issued moreover at the time of insurance claim a specific set of documents have to be submitted for claim settlement also here we can discuss about the necessary documents for purchasing life insurance policy in india at first for every life insurance policy the following documents are required to purchase a life insurance policy they are life insurance proposal form duly filled and signed by the proposer or the life insured and photograph of the pro- proposer and the photographer of the sorry photograph of the life insured if different from the proposer of the life insurance and age proof of the proposer and the life insured identity proof of the proposer and the life insured address proof of the proposer medical examination reports if any needed regarding because of the age of or the sum of insurance issued by the policy holder and the next document is income income proof of the proposer if the sum issued or the premiums of the policy is high and pan card of the proposer here these are the various documents required for the purchasing of life insurance policies in india that are life insurance proposal form photographs of the proposer and the life insured age proof of the proposer and the life insured identity proof address proofs medical reports if any required in case of life insurances and income proof for any high premium policies and the pan card of the proposer and later on the necessary documents requ- required for the claims or the settlement of life insurance plans which we have purchased by submitting the above documents which are required for purchasing a life insurance policy here in case of claims in your insurance policy the requirement of insurance documents would depend on the type of insurance policy that you have bought and the type of claim suffered that means here the claim related documents with which you be needed is different types in different insurance claims here life insurance claims can be say, maturity claim money back claim or death claim at the time of claims 
the documents needed for maturity and money back are same while the death claims the documentation is different here discussing the documents ne needed for maturity or survival claims that is money back claims are same you can discuss about these documents related to the settlement of or the claiming of maturity and survival claims are discharge orders sent by the insurance company duly filled and signed by the policy holder or if not by the nominee the next one is life insurance policy bond which have been issued issued at the time of purchasing the life insurance policy the next one is identity proof of the policy holder or the legal heirs the bank account details of the policy holder and the legal heirs or the nominee and the age proof of the insured member if it uh, it was not submitted at the time of buying the policy these are the various documents needed for maturity and survival claims and the next one is documents needed for death claims these both are different at the at the time of purchase they are same but the at the times of claims the death the money back and the maturity are different we have discussed the maturity and the survival claims and where it includes of the discharge vouchers life insurance bond identity proof or bank details of the policy holders age proof if not submitted at the time of buying the policy and here the document requires for death claims are the death claim form duly signed by the nominee and the life insurance bond which has been issued by the policy insurance policy company at the time of purchases and the death certificate of the life insured identity identity proof of the nominee who have signed for the claim bank account details of the nominee in case of any accident police fir is to be submitted under these documents under the post mortem re reports and other related if death happened in case of any accident along with this the insurance company can ask for any other documents are needed by the insurance company to settle these claims these are the various documents required for purchase of the life insurance and claim settlements of the life insurance thank you